Our final demo today is from Zencraft. Zencraft builds apps to automate the shipping process and saving time and money for any Salesforce customer. Zencraft apps make rating, booking, and tracking shipments for over 40 car 45 carriers, including FedEx, UPS, US Postal Service, DHL, Hong Kong Post, who knows where else, everything out there. Over 23,000 Salesforce users trust Zencraft to improve shipping efficiency, including Tesla, Fitbit, Lenovo, AT&T, and Zencraft apps have a ton of five-star reviews if you go out and check them out on the App Exchange. But today with me, I've got Mike Getchis. He is engagement manager at Zencraft. I am going to turn it over to you for three minutes beginning now. Thank you. So as, as we just mentioned, um, Zencraft has built a Salesforce.com native shipping integration. Um, so what I'm going to show you today and to start with a, a list view of some orders here, and these are orders that are ready to fulfill. We're going to create some labels, um, go out to UPS, actually return the labels, print them, and update the order records so we can see um, the status change here. Um, so one of these has been flagged for an RMA. An RMA is um, the case where we need to replace perhaps a broken piece for the customer. So we're going to send them out a package, um, create those labels, and included in that package is going to be a return shipping label. So this is one way we can we can create the um, shipping labels. Um, I'm looking at an individual order here. This one is marked ready to fulfill. We can see some details about this order. The product is related to it. Um, we can see that this customer prefers UPS as a carrier, um, and they prefer ground as well. So everything, um, because we are a Salesforce native solution, everything that's already stored on this order can be fed into the label request process. Um, so this new UPS shipment button that I've just clicked um, has landed us on a page that looks familiar if you've ever shipped anything, except they're still in Salesforce. So we can see that all of the necessary fields required to make these two labels make the request from UPS and bring them back into Salesforce have already been filled in. Um, it's actually possible to just skip this screen altogether um, or uh, have this label created out of workflow um, and print it. It doesn't make for a great demo though. So I'm gonna check this auto print checkbox. So after I create these labels, they will print to my thermal laser printer. Um, so right now the application is going out to UPS in this case, it could be FedEx or Hong Kong Post for that matter and creating some UPS shipment records. Now we've landed on our UPS shipment object. We can see we have a tracking number updated here. Um, it's related back to that original order. We can see that the order status has been updated to replacement shipped. I'm gonna open that in another tab. But what we have here is a complete record of the shipment. We have the status description, which will be updated every hour. We've even built a checkbox. It updates to check when the package is delivered. So you can see the workflow implications here. We also have cost information. As I said, everything about the shipment is stored on this record, um, and it's all searchable. We can report on it, and I'll show you some of those reports here in a second. If we scroll down, we can even see we save the label as an attachment. Um, this can be emailed if, if we need to send a label to a customer. Let's just jump back to that order and see what's changed. So we can see it's updated to replacement shipped. Um, we can also see some of the details have changed. So we have the tracking numbers, both outbound and returned updated with the order ship date noted, as well as the two related UPS shipments. Um, now, because we have the tracking information coming back, we can quickly see whether or not there's any status exceptions. So this would be a problem with the status. Um, any of those unused return labels, so we can follow up with whoever has our products. And then finally, cost information will be available as well. All reportable, all inside of Salesforce. Thank you. You got in right before I was about to give the elephant sound. So good job, Mike. And you know what? You recovered really quick for uh, having the audio issues we had in the beginning. I got to say what I like about this is you are so integrated for getting that information in. I mean, you just put it into your workflow process, whether it's RMA or whether it's a label request, anything like that. All this stuff can be created on the fly. And if you think about the underpinnings of this, what Zencraft does here you're pulling together all of these different sites. You're utilizing all their APIs to make sure that you're getting exactly what's needed. And then to get this data, you know, back in Salesforce and kick off workflows and everything, this is brilliant stuff. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna ask my own question here. I'm wondering how fast can you uh, get all this data into Salesforce? Because obviously we get notifications like within, you know, sometimes seconds of when a box is dropped at a front door. How often can you, go out there and get the information from these from these different providers? Sure, so it's a, con it's a configurable setting in our application. 
Most of our customers have it set at about an hour, um, but it can be increased um, to more frequently than that. Um, and some of them do it, you know, just once a week. It depends on really the workflow processes that are built around that. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, that just makes sense because you don't need to be going out and pinging it all the time if it's not necessary, but some of the things are going to be more critical. And that's great that you can configure it. Nice job, Mike. I appreciate it.